August 12, 2103. The security at Genitech Industries was so effective that the possibility of theft was inconceivable. However, my time spent in the company of Sherlock Holmes has shown me that nothing is impossible and that the inconceivable may often become reality. Watch Station 2 reporting. No activity on areas 12 through 20. As usual. Roger that. Your move, Station 2. Rook to Queen's Bishop 3. Knight takes Bishop. Rook takes Knight. Sorry, pal. Checkmate. We have an intruder in safe room 7. But that's impossible. It's not possible, Inspector Lestrade. This door is on a time lock. Nobody could have had access to this room last night. It clearly is possible, or you would now be in need of our services. I'm familiar with the security measures here at Genie Tech Homes. Titanium alloy walls, fortified ceilings and floors. And, as the guard just stated, a vault door on a time lock which is scheduled to open right now. Nice to see that your internal chronometer is functioning, Watson. Which is more than I can say about the timepiece in here. Did you experience a power loss in this building last night? No. Why do you ask? Merely curious. And this biochip that was stolen, who might find it of value? Almost no one. There aren't many companies involved in the sort of research we're doing. The chip would be worthless to anyone but them. I'd like a list of those companies. Clearly a case of industrial spying. A worker inside this very building, perhaps. Perhaps. Lestrade, what do you make of these? Dead bugs? I think not. What is your company's policy regarding pets on the premises? No animals are allowed in the building at any time. Then I suggest you enforce that rule more strictly. Lestrade, please take the alleged bugs for analysis. I've seen enough here. A snake scale? The DNA tests seem to confirm it. But the lab technicians are having a bit of trouble pinning down the species. Oh, come on, Holmes. Uh, what's the big deal? Right. Why, if we were to suspect every rat hair and bit of filth from all the hovels we've ever investigated... My point exactly, Watson. This was no waterfront dive or corner grocers that was pilfered. It was a safe room, which by its very nature should contain nothing but that which belongs there. I think this angle is gonna get you zed. So someone's pet snake got loose. Look, I'm checking up the list of companies who might be interested in that stolen biochip. Good luck, Lestrade. I believe that Watson and I will spend a leisurely afternoon at the zoo. Dr. Grimsby Roylott is the only man in New London still working with living snakes. Perhaps he can help us identify these scales. Gracious Holmes, this place has fallen into abysmal disrepair. No doubt due to the lack of customers. Well, let's hear what our esteemed herpetologist has to say. Excuse me, miss. I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is my associate, Dr. Watson. We are looking for a Dr. Roylott. I'm Dr. Roylott. Unless you want my father, Dr. Grimsby Roylott. Yes, your father, please, Dr. Roylott. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes, but I have no idea where my father has gotten to or when he'll be back. Perhaps you can assist me then, Dr. Roylott. Can you identify this scale? It almost could have come from Monty. Monty? My python. Hmm. Let me show you. <sighs> I didn't see any python. I say. Get away! Stay, Watson. I can't hurt you. Monty, stop that! Monty! <sighs> Dear me! What are you doing in Monty's cage? Dad, I let them in. Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am told that you are an expert in herpetology, the study of reptiles. I know what the term means. Get to the point. Can you tell me what this is? Judging by the hair unnaturally growing from this scale, I'd guess it's one of Faunus Chapman's abominable chimeras. Chimeras? Man-made freaks of nature, genetically combining parts of different animals to create monsters. 
And who might Faunus Chapman be? Faunus Chapman is an environmental terrorist with a criminal record. An unscrupulous huckster who creates the sort of creatures I've just described and displays them for the public's amusement. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Since he's opened his freak show, my business has dwindled to nothing. It's a sad world where bottle-bred monstrosities like Chapman's take precedence over our precious natural heritage. Perhaps you should have a talk with Chapman. He might have your answer. Perhaps I shall. Good day to you, Dr. Roylott. And to you as well, Dr. Roylott. This Chapman fellow sounds like he could be our man. Roylott certainly seems to think so. Would you access Chapman's record while I have a look around here, Watson? Linking to the yard now. Faunus Chapman, ex-member of the Earth Sentinels, a radical environmental group now disbanded. Several arrests, hmm. degree in bioengineering, suspicious qualities considering the nature of the theft. Quite suspicious, Watson. We should be thankful to Dr. Roylott for pointing us in his direction. Then we should also be on our way to question him, should we not? Eventually, Watson. There are still some questions here I'd like to ponder. Questions, Holmes? What do you suspect? I believe the snake's DNA is involved in the case. But beyond that, my speculations are too terrible to express without confirmation. Severus, guardian of the underworld. Almost too appropriate, eh, Watson? Mythological museum. What a dreary place. But did you hear that, Watson? I did. It sounded like the same stealthy sound the python made when it attacked me. That was no snake. I suggest we take a look around back. I'd say that somebody's broken in. So it would seem. Let us proceed with caution. Suggestion. Stand down, and you heal, Agnes. Thank you for the assistance. You possess a rather formidable menagerie. Assistance? You just better not have harmed any of my animals. An odd sentiment coming from the one who set those monsters upon us. What are you on about? They were locked safely away until you came skulking around. Were they indeed? Perhaps it would be prudent to examine their cages. I locked these cages myself. Hmm. It appears you neglected to use actual locks when you did so. A potentially deadly oversight for us. Who's to say you didn't unlock the cages when you tried to steal my beasts, Mr. Uh... Holmes, I can assure you that we did not, Mr. Chapman. If you would allow us a moment of your time, I'm certain we can explain this to everyone's satisfaction. Do I have a choice? First, let me see to my animals. Off you go. Now stay put. Hmm. They're quite peaceful when no provoked. So am I, sir. So am I. This looks like you 30 years ago. Aye, so what? And the chap with the glasses, was he an Earth Sentinel as well? A criminal. Criminal? Is that what you think we were? Grimsby Roylock was a brave soldier in the animal rights movement, until he lost his way. Lost his way? Aye, back then he would have laid his life down to protect the wild, as would have I. We fought some good battles, but in the end we lost the war. And you call us criminals? Roylott decided it was better to imprison animals in his pathetic zoo than let them be destroyed by civilization, while the real solution was to breed entire new species to replace those that were lost, as I have done through genetic manipulation. Roylott disapproved of my work, and I have not seen him since. I have. Just today. He told me you might know what this is. 
Just like Roylet to tumble me to the corpse. He always... What? I say, Holmes, have a look here. A floor plan of the Genie Tech building with the route to the safe room mapped out. Can you explain this, Mr. Chapman? Explain it? I didn't even know what it is. Then you won't mind that we take it as evidence. Evidence of what? Breaking and entering? Tech theft? Attempt to do bodily harm? This frame-up reminds me of the tricks you Yardbird played when I was a child. You haven't got any proof I've done anything wrong? No, we don't. In that case, I'll ask you to leave now. As you wish, Mr. Chapman. Not a bad piece of detective work. Me finding that floor plan, eh, Holmes? Indeed, Watson, indeed. Subtract what belongs from the scene, and anything that remains becomes suspicious. A page from your own book, and it served me well. Yes. Interesting that you so handily found the evidence amidst such clutter. And I wonder why Chapman would laser the locks off his cages instead of just using a key. Holmes, what have you got? Quite a bit, actually, Lestrade. How is your investigation progressing? Hmm, well, several of the biotech companies on my list made large charitable donations within the past week. A classic technique to launder funds. Holmes, what's going down? We are Lestrade, unless my associate can offer a technical solution to this dilemma. Watson, at once, Holmes. Auto systems bypassed. I got it on manual. Fire source quarantined and extinguished. Good show, Watson. Take us to the oven. Of course. Looks like you were right about the scale, Holmes. It led you to the guilty man. And that would be? A white Chapman, of course. He certainly has the motive and a map. A man in his line of work would find that biochip very useful. I'm sure he would. However... Lestrade, there's been another robbery! Huh? When? Half an hour ago in the industrial quadrant. I want you there ASAP immediately! Chapman's been busy. He certainly has, Watson. Considering that we were talking to him a half hour ago when the crime was taking place. Wait, how can that be? It can't. I suggest that we finish this conversation at Dr. Roylott's zoo. Ugh, this place is a dump. No wonder they've been soliciting charitable donations. Yes, how timely. Quiet. Someone's out there. It's Chapman. What's he trying to bury? Hold it right there, Mr. Chapman. Burying a bit of evidence, are we? Is that what you think? Then I've no choice. Agnes, after the... <laughs> Look to Roylet for your answers, but beware. He's as cold-blooded as the snakes he favours. And take good care of Agnes. If you needed any further proof of his guilt, Holmes, I believe you have it now. That must have been the glove he wore when he committed the crimes. Yes, he would have to shed it. Shed it? Bury it, more likely. Look at the dispersal of the dirt, Watson. Chapman was digging it up, not trying to bury it. Hmm, he said Roylet's got answers. That's just what I'm in the mood for right about now. By all means, let's get some. It doesn't add up. We should be broke. Oh, Dad, where are you getting the money to pay for these improvements? Your father has unfortunately sought out alternative sources of funding. Mr. Holmes, you startled me. Is my father in some kind of trouble? Yes. I'd like to speak to him, if I may. He's gone again. I don't know when he'll be back. May we look around? Certainly, if it will help. Well, this is the only place we haven't looked. Under the mattress, Lestrade? Really? I had to give it a shot. Ugh, this place is clean. Do you hear that, Holmes? Monty? 
something far more terrible than Monty, I'm afraid. I suggest we wait outside for your father's return. My father? Dad? Helen, pack a bear quickly, my dear. We have to leave at once. I am afraid you are going to leave, Dr. Roylott, with us. Leave? How the heck did he get in? The window's barred and we were right outside. Eyes and brains, Lestrade. Do you wish to explain, Dr. Roylott, or should I? I have nothing to say. Ah, but I do. Means, motive, and opportunity. All the ingredients were there. I knew the means of entry almost at once. The blinking clock gave away the fact of the cable you accidentally disconnected. It was a tight squeeze through that conduit, even for you, Dr. Roylott. You scraped off some scales. Tiny hairs on the scale suggested it came from no ordinary snake, which led me to seek an expert on the subject. You, Dr. Roylott. Your daughter's concern about your finances in the face of the expensive repairs being done raised my suspicions about a motive. The donations from the biotech companies. Payoffs for the stolen technology. Oh, Dad, how could you? Once a snake, always a snake. You stole my work and your snake's DNA to turn yourself into the very sort of monster you've accused me of producing. You tried to use my animals to do harm, and you framed me for your crimes by planting those floor plans. And there lies the opportunity. Mr. Chapman followed Roylott's tracks from the window, as I did, and was digging up the proof when we found him. Roylott buried the evidence in the post holes, knowing they'd be filled with concrete in the morning. You're no Cinderella, but I bet this'll fit you like a four-fingered glove. Curse you, Holmes! <laughs> <laughs> Split up. Find him. It's over, Dr. Roylott. For your daughter's sake, please, do not struggle. For Helen's sake? Why do you think I've done this? I wanted to give her generation a chance to regain the past we stole from her. But you had to step in Holmes the meddler. Holmes the busybody. Holmes the new Scotland Yard lackey. Holmes! Dad, stop it! I can't get a clean shot. Holmes, he's cold blooded. Cold Yes! So cold! Oh, Dad, why? Oh, in his own twisted way. He did it out of love, but at some point he lost sight of the truth, and then he was lost. And what would that truth be, Holmes? The truth, my dear Watson, is that even an eminent herpetologist should not attempt to tip the scales of justice in favor of evil. Scales of justice, Holmes? Ugh, good grief. <laughs>